let's speak to the uh, Director of Public Affairs at the Fair Wages and Salaries Commission, El Ankara. Good afternoon to you, Mr. Ankara, and thank you very Good much afternoon. for your time, sir. Good afternoon. Happy to be here. Happy no, right. New Year to you. Happy New Year to you, uh, Mr. Ankara. My name is Jifa. So now, yes, when sir. it comes to the issue relating to UTAG, the statement or letter notification issued indicated that they were waiting for the labor market survey and that had yes. delayed and so for the nlc they were expecting utag to inform them i spoke to the utag national secretary he says that their issue really is not even so much so about the labor market survey it's more about their conditions of service but let's start with the labor market survey because i understand that yes. sits with the fair wages um have you completed that report and have you shared it the, the, the labor market survey has been completed. It is done by the Ghana Statistical Service on behalf of government. And the results of the reports were handed over to government, uh, the Ministry of Employment and Labor Relations, last week, Thursday. And on the very same day, we shared it with the representatives of the president specifically. We have pictures to prove that. So that 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 threshold has been passed. So if we tell it out there saying that government has not handed over uh, the copies of of the labor market survey, so then that is a uh, serious and true okay. falsehood. All right. The reason why I ask is because the UTAG National Secretary, Dr. Anor Asari, says the document they've received, that nothing much has changed. They are not satisfied with the contents. And so their position is if, as an interim measure, government should revert to the 2013 uh, position agreed uh, where there's an interim uh, market premium, what are the options on the table if they are not happy with what is contained in your labor market survey? Uh, I'm going to explain the object of the labor market survey. It might take maybe 60 seconds or 90 seconds, if you would allow It's me. okay. Go ahead, sir. Uh, I'll put it in context. A new card is made up of lecturers. Lecturers are, are people who normally supervise uh, research work. So they will know that if there is a, a, a survey and the result comes from the uh, research officer, so to speak, he will have to hand it over to the end user. The end user will then determine what they will do with the pattern established uh, following the survey. Now, this labor market survey is something that government is trying to use to find out if there are any skills within the public sector, be it in the health sector, be it in the education sector, be it in the civil service, that are lacking, that are, are short in supply, uh, whose uh, uh, presence or whose absence, for that matter, is going to cause dire consequences for 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 uh, uh, for, for the process of work to continue, really a, a part of the public service. Then the employer, which is government, will look at those skills that are absent and decide what to do to attract them. It could be that if there's an embargo uh, on the hiring of those skills, the embargo will have, to, uh, will have to be lifted. If those skills are not being pursued in the educational institutions, uh, the accreditation board will be encouraged to get, get, get uh, those institutions to take up those courses. If it becomes necessary to pay premiums, like uh, what we call the market premium, to attract those skills from the private sector to come and work in the public sector, that will be done. But it's all the prerogatives of of the employer. Now, I'll give you a studio uh, example so that um, our, 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 our listeners will come to terms with it. Um, who is the sound, the sound man on duty this afternoon, please? Pardon? The, the sound man on duty this afternoon. Who is it? I just want to use that as an example. Okay. What's his name? I, 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 I don't know. Okay, okay, yeah. That will be in the control room. Let's say, uh, let's say uh, VFM realizes that um, there's an issue with sound men. We don't have enough sound men. In fact, we have only one sound man. And it, it seems as if, despite the fact that we are paying his full salary, despite the fact that um, he's enjoying all the allowances due him, 
Despite the fact that he's enjoying premiums that are coming to him, despite the fact that we are giving him everything that he can contain in his conditions of service, he's likely to get pushed by another network. What do we do? Then prayer will decide, you know what, let me give him a premium above the salary so that he doesn't get pushed by another network. Or so that if there are any sound men elsewhere, they will feel attracted by the premium we have offered this sound man, and then they will all come. Then we deal with that issue. Otherwise, we will we'll be in hard waters. It is, it is completely the employer's prerogative. It is an HR issue. It is not up to the sound man to say, I am, I am, I am scared here. So if you don't give me a premium, I am going on a strike. I'm coming to the, to the studio to do my job. If the sound man feels that bad, all he has to do is to resign. And, leave. and then the prayer will learn his lesson and say, hey, maybe I have to do something about it. I don't know if I've painted a picture quite clearly. For, okay, for so, so you've painted a picture for me, but this is that's not exactly the best example because in the instance of UTAG, their union, yes. they've been doing yes. these negotiations and engaged in, on this, in this space, the labor space, for quite a long time. Strikes are nothing yes. new to us in this country. Some of us have yes. actually suffered because of year-long strikes in 1992, for instance, at the right. universities, right. even though we right. were not probably there at the time. The impact later right. on was uh, significant. So the point is the university teachers are looking at things based on a certain context and historical. They also have people who have written to them declining appointments to their universities because of the salary, scale, structure, conditions of service. So all I'm just seeking from the Fair Wages and Salaries Commission is that beyond what is in the labor market survey, which they may be dissatisfied with, are there mm -hmm. options out there that will allow a certain agreement by end of week so that students can begin lectures on Monday? Because this is like a small honeymoon period that the students have for orientation, which is not happening, but lectures must begin on Monday. That cannot happen if the UTAG is still on strike. If I let's make this clear. Uh, we will still have to fix the issues of the um, interim market premium because that was what they stated in their communique. The, 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 the labor market survey is supposed to lead to the possibility of market premium. There is a government white paper which guides the implementation of market premium. I've shared this with uh, uh, many of you. I'll share it with you after the show. After, after, after the show. We tried to present it. I'm very, very much aware of the content of the, uh, of the government white paper on the market premium. It says, the market premium is not for negotiation. It's the employer's prerogative. It cannot be negotiated for, and it cannot even be paid across board. So you don't have to have a situation where a group like that or a group of workers on a particular campus, any single campus, can come together and say, we want market premium. This is not fair with this talking. This is what the, the white paper, uh, that is the instrument which guides and which directs how the market premium is supposed to be handled. That is what that guy is saying. So you can, cannot, cannot in any way claim that the cost of, of, of the content of the uh, labor market study, which is supposed to possibly lead to market premium, they are on strike. Now they are talking about worsening conditions of service. Sir. We concluded on the negotiations with UTA just three months ago, just this past October, and signed. I don't know if you've ever heard of any conditions of service that make any, that, that make any worker aware of no conditions of service. Otherwise, I, uh, the members of UTA will have to, to find out from their uh, leaders why they will go into a negotiation and end up with conditions of service that make them worse off. That is not the truth. They've, they've gone out in the past couple of days telling the public that they are, their conditions are getting worse. If you sign conditions of service about three months ago, you got the best conditions you've ever had as a group since the group was, was put together. So if, you, if you sign conditions of service just three months ago and you're telling the public that those conditions of service make you worse off, then you have to explain to your members what you were at the table doing. It is complete falsehood. It is meant to throw us in the, in the, uh, dust in the eyes of the public, and they are not addressing what they are talking about. Tell you what, they, they started saying they were going to go on a strike on the 3rd of December. 
citing the fact that they, they, they don't have a copy of the labor market survey, which is supposed to be the prerogative of the employer. Last Thursday, it was given to them. And the Deputy Minister of Employment told the UTAC president and the members of the room that go and study these documents and revert to us with any of the issues that you, you, you may find. Instead of coming back, they decided to call a strike. And now they are, they are, they are going to shift it from we don't have a copy of the, of the labor market survey to now we study the labor market survey and we are not satisfied with the, with the recommendations. Okay. We start leaders are, 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 are people who supervise research work. They of all the people should know that when the research work is submitted, it is handed over to the editor. Who will then decide to whether to to take um, uh, the recommendations in the work to consideration or not? It's completely the prerogative of the end user. Okay. Not now, for, now, for, okay. For so, Mr. Ankara. Okay. So, Mr. Ankara, there's a meeting on Thursday. What is yes. the view of? How the fair wage? How is the fair wages going into this meeting? Is the fair wages yeah. going into this meeting to get them to uh, agree on next steps for conditions of service or on what the labor market survey? What What is the the game plan? Going forward, yeah. Yes, I, I can. See you're looking for how we're going to bring some sanity to the situation. How then the, the strike will be lifted and the students will be able to get back to school and parents will have their peace of mind and there will be industrial harmony uh, across the country. That, that invitation is, is the behest of the National Labor Commission. They've invited both parties and UTAC leaders are very much aware of this. When there is an impact of this nature, the National Labor Commission, being the uh, state agency mandated by law to handle industrial disputes of this nature, they will, they, they've invited this effect. When we go there, I can't preempt or uh, uh, predict or preempt what is going to happen. But this is normally what happens. Labor Commission will listen to both parties, and then they will say the party that is on strike is supposed to call off the strike so that then they can go back to the table. So you have members are very much aware. Now, this is, the, this is not someone talking, and this is not the government talking. This is the law. The law says. When you're on strike, you cannot engage. You cannot engage anyone on strike. So even if we do that, we'll be violating the laws of this country. UTAC leadership is very much aware of that. So if they, they claim they are working in the interest of the members and they want solutions, the only way they can, they can get those solutions is to engage. In any case, there is nothing to negotiate. Market premium is not for negotiation. So it's as a labor commission that will see the way forward. This is what I said. But I, again, I cannot predict and preempt what, what, what's going to happen on Thursday. All right. Thank you very much, Mr. Ankara. And thanks for shedding more light on the issues for us. El Ankara is the Director of Public Affairs at the 